sacred city of Anura Dapura is an important Buddhist site in the central north of Sri Lanka. It was founded in around 300 BC and it was the capital of many Sri Lankan kingdoms for well over a thousand years. These days, the ruined city features a whole bunch of still active Buddhist shrines, many Dagobas or pagodas, monasteries, palaces and water tanks as well. The site also features a sacred bow tree, which apparently dates back over 2,000 years. Absolutely incredible. Next up is the ancient city of Polonnaruwa, another of the ancient capitals of Sri Lanka. The city here was built from around the 11th century AD and it was constructed to be the new capital of King Vijay Abahu I. The ruins here are absolutely stunning in their scope and preservation. You can clearly see the royal palace, temples, monasteries, dagobahs, water fountains and much, much more besides. There's also incredible carvings and artwork to see all over the site. Located in a series of caves high on a hill above the town of Dambulla, this World Heritage Site covers five decorated caves. These caves are sacred shrines to Lord Buddha and they're packed full with over 150 statues and thousands of paintings. The artwork is mostly about the life and the teachings of Buddha, though kings and other rulers do make some appearances as well. Although the caves and the monastery here date all the way back to the 1st century BC, it's actually likely that much of the artwork is a bit more recent than that, probably from the past few hundred years, but it's still absolutely stunning. The ancient city of Sigiriya is one of the most incredible sites in all of Sri Lanka. Constructed around the 5th century AD, it's both a palace fortress and a city as well. The top of the palace sits high on the flat top of an enormous rock above the plains below. And underneath that you find lower terraces featuring the amazing Lion Gate staircase, a cave with beautifully preserved frescoes and the famous mirror wall too. And right at the bottom, the palace is surrounded by an entire city complex where you can clearly see the remains of buildings, temples and monasteries, plus water features and gardens too. It's a supremely beautiful place and probably our favourite site in all of Sri Lanka. Although most of Central Kandy is included in this World Heritage Site, the highlight is easily the Temple of the Golden Tooth Relic. This gleaming white temple on the waterfront is part of a larger palace complex and it holds a relic sacred to all Buddhists, one of Buddha's teeth. The tooth itself has been a symbol of Sri Lankan royalty for centuries, which explains why the temple is within a palace complex. And although the relic itself is only displayed at infrequent intervals, it's a fantastic place to come and experience the atmosphere. There's also a really interesting museum too, with paintings showing the story of the tooth and its journey from Buddha's funeral pyre to the modern city of Kandy. And as a nice bonus, the city has some beautiful colonial buildings to check out too.
This World Heritage Site covers three separate wilderness areas in the centre of Sri Lanka. The Peak Wilderness, the Horton Plains and Knuckles Conservation Forest. They're packed full of rugged mountains, rainforests and tea plantations and they're also home to an incredible variety of animal species too. Although we weren't really able to see that much on our hike due to really poor weather, other visitors can expect to see all sorts of monkeys, slender loris, birds and insects. And of course you get some incredible vistas as well. The old town of Gaul is a major city on the southwestern coastline of Sri Lanka. Although it was a key seaport for centuries, Gaul's history took a dramatic turn with the arrival of the Portuguese in the early 16th century. However, it was the later Dutch and then British colonists who transformed Gaul into the impressive trading post and fortress that we can see today. The fortifications are immense with huge stone walls and bastions and inside the fortress there's a grid layout of streets with heaps of beautiful colonial era buildings too. It's a really, really impressive place. The last World Heritage Site in Sri Lanka is a small biosphere of lowland rainforest in southern Sri Lanka. It's among the best preserved forest area in the whole country and it has a really high rate of endemic tree species as well. We had a fantastic day here, hiking trails through the rainforest, up and down hills, looking at beautiful waterfalls and marvelling at the lizards, snakes, birds and many other animals too. It's a really incredible spot. <laughs> 